Hey, it's been a minute since I've uh, been on my late night ride. But uh, tonight, I had something to talk about. Um, hard work. Hard work is what I'm going to talk about. In the light of this whole trying to shame Mr. Jeffrey Owens for working at Trader Joe's, I had to do this tonight. Um, I want to first start by saying I commend that man for having a job. What is he not supposed to work? Uh, I think it's. I think this this society is become very. Um, well, you know what they. I, I'll say this. Growing up, where I grew up, and how I grew up. You post to honor a man for working and taking care of his family. Um, now, because this man was on a, a very popular and hit TV show that is no longer on the air, and due to circumstances beyond his control, um, he's probably not getting the residuals because of other things. Um, but for a person to to I don't even want to say swallow their pride but swallow their pride and go out and get a job and then have to be shamed because he's working I think it's fucking ridiculous um, there are tons of, of artists who are f extremely popular and famous at a time that um have taken or have taken jobs that were everyday jobs by people. Myself, man, I'm of course I don't have the fame that those guys, the guys uh, Jeffrey Owens had, um, but I I I do a regular job. You know, I worked at Alamo Car Rental while I still pursued acting. You know, Ecstasy from from Houdini was a EMT, uh, you know, when he, he wasn't making records, uh, you know, there, there, there's, there's tons of people out there that's doing jobs, um, that were famous and, and have to put food on it. When you are a real person, uh, and, and times get hard, you do what you fucking have to do. I, I don't know who the lady is that posted the picture of her, of him at Trader Joe's, but fuck that lady, man. Uh, I think that shit is crazy whack, man. And I pray that all of this has a a, a positive and glowing outcome for him, man. I. I, I <laughs> The society today is just so fucking whack, man. It's so fucking whack. And I think that was some bullshit that they did to this man. Um, he's just trying to make a living and feed his family. Um, but like they say, they always say, it's cliche, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I believe that this happening is going to have some positive outcome for this man. I, I really do. I can't help but believe that. Um, so, you know, this is just my thoughts on this shit tonight um, because I've seen it going around. Um, so I decided to say something about it. Um, yeah, man. Big up to him. Salute to the real man who felt like, yo, I got to go get a job because I got to feed my family, man. I'm not getting acting roles every day. So... This is what I have to do. So I commend that man. And that's really all I had to say about that tonight, man. This has been your boy, John O, a.k.a. The Light Skin Dude on the Late Night Ride.
And since I don't have her anymore to talk to, I thank y'all for listening. Till the next time. Hey, what's up? It's John Alley. And if you like what you just saw, then all you have to do is subscribe by pressing the button that's right over my head. And if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, bang, they're right there. All right? And if you want to see more of my vlog videos, bam, they're right there. Other than that, y'all have a good day. And I thank y'all so much for watching. The general has spoken. Kate told me to do this. Hey, guys. I'm Kate, and I'm the one that told him to do this. Aren't you glad?